If you've watched my thrifting channel at all, you know I have been looking and looking and looking and looking and looking and looking for a round coffee table. And finally, I said, you know what? I'm going to buy myself a new coffee table because I'm tired of looking. <laughs> so that's what I did. It really was not a lot. I think I spent two, under 200 I think it was 180 170 I don't know, from Walmart. I'll put the link in the description box below if you're interested. But yeah. So this one is purchased by moi. I'm sorry, the dog is barking. Um, apparently the instructions are not super clear. Is that part right, hubby? Reason, no. <laughs> part of the reason it doesn't make sense is when you put this on here before I try to put this other piece oh, on. Oh, okay. But the way the drawing is set up, yeah. you can't tell that this is, oh, this I is got solid. You, you know, yes, you to be able to see through I got it. You. So I wasn't even picturing it. So yeah, Very so good. we have to put All this. All right, next is the shelf. Okay. I think I like it. I don't love it with my floors, but the floors are going this year. So I really, I guess it brings out the orange, I feel like. The camera is also picking it up oddly. It looks gold on camera. It's not gold, it's brown. Anyway, we're gonna mull it over for a few days and see what we think. I have to think about what decor I wanna put on it. I definitely like it better than what was there for sure. Um, I just remembered it's actually gonna be on a rug. So that could make a difference. Because what's bothering me right now is how orange my floors look. Like it makes my floors worse. <laughs> Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go think about it. Okay, it's a few days later. Here's my table. This rug is from my daughter's bedroom, Molly and Hannah's bedroom. They didn't want it anymore. So Chris took it outside, cleaned it with the carpet cleaner because they kind of did a number on it. But I think it will look nice here. I'm gonna try it, it's big. And I just think it might cozy up the space a little bit. That's what I'm thinking. And then I'm gonna turn the camera okay, around. Okay, and then I just wanted to share that I am not feeling super inspired to decorate for fall. And it's not for like any bad reason. I'm just really enjoying my regular decor. So I'm not going all out for fall this year. That might disappoint some of you. I know you like like all my fall decorating, but I wanna be honest, cause like some of you might not really feel it on one of the seasons, you know, or it might be over seasonal decor and that's okay. So I decided I'm gonna go through my fall tubs I'm gonna pull out the things that I really like. Like I pulled out a few pieces that I definitely know I wanna put on here, but I don't wanna change out my shelves. I like my shelves. So I'm gonna put out a few favorites and get rid of some things that I know I'm not gonna use again. And then save the things that I know I might wanna use if I like feel so inspired next year. And then if I don't use them next year, I'm, I'm getting rid of them. So that's the plan. I'm just not doing a lot of fall decorating. But you'll see today what I am doing, which is just gonna be little touches, plus, you know, working with my new coffee table and everything, so. All right, so let's get started on all that. Also, I just had to get her on film because she's just so cute. That's Penny, in case any of you don't know. She's 40 pounds now. She seems to be pretty much leveling off at 40 pounds. Right, Pen Pen? <laughs> she knows her name. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so we got the rug in with some finagling. I like it. And I think it's gonna be nice for winter. Whether it stays here long-term, not sure, but 
I think it'll be nice for winter. It's a little modern. I kind of like the, you know, the updated look to it. Okay, so now I'm gonna work on my coffee table. I'm gonna move the camera in so you can see that a little better. Okay, so now I'm gonna work on the coffee table. I'm not doing a ton. Like I said, I'm keeping things simple. So I think I'm gonna use some coffee table books because those are classic and a little cloche that I have, a wire cloche. I, I got it, mm, I wanna say last year or two years ago, I don't remember. I think I'm gonna put like a little fall arrangement in it or two pumpkins that I got at the Dollar Tree, the Dollar Tree Plus. So, uh, and then I'm gonna put a few things there. I'm not doing the corner shelf yet. Um, Cause I think I wanna do like Halloween in the little cubbies there, although I haven't decided exactly. So this is just like the first decorating video. I need to uh, fix the pillows. I um, tried to order some plaid pillow covers, which were so cute. And I was watching someone's video. I think it might've been Old World Home. And she was talking about Ralph Lauren decor. And then I was reading about Ralph Lauren decor. And one thing he always says is to incorporate plaid into every room. Well, I was trying to do that. I mean, I have Buffalo check, but that's not the same. And the package got lost. That never happens to me from Amazon. So they refunded me my money, but I don't have those pillow covers. So that's a bummer. Um, but let's go ahead and do the coffee table first and then we'll move on to the pillows and the rest of the room. So this is just an old scrapbook. It actually has my needle. If you watch my other channel, you know I'm a thrifter and these are old needle books. And so it has my needle uh, book collection in there. So I'm gonna put that here. And then I have this, which I got at the bins, I think. It's an Ansel Adams National Parks book. Okay, so here's my cloche. And I just wanna put that there. I think, I, I think it's gonna look cute. Oh, there's, <laughs> I got this at a yard sale and it still has the sticker. But it's, I'm trying to go with like browns and oranges this year and that's kind of it. I'm not, I'm not doing a lot. That looks cute. I can get the lid on. Gonna center it. Oh, I like it. I think that's all I'm doing there. I like it. Simple. Let me get my pillow covers and we'll talk pillows and blankets. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go with just fluffing these. I actually have a new couch cover. I was gonna put it on, but I'm gonna wait till the dog is a little older, I think. So for right now, I'm just gonna deal with the ones that are here. We'll fluff these pillows put a blanket on the couch and I have a little accent pillow and that should be good. Flipped everything around and uh, makes everything look fresh. So that's good. I got these from Target and I think they were $5 a piece. Yeah. So I think they're really cute. So I'm going to put, I think this one, the orange one on the couch and then hey there huh, maybe not maybe i'm gonna put hey there pumpkin on the couch and put the orange one over there okay. this is a blanket i've had I think I got it at Walmart a few years ago. I don't really remember. Okay. Over here on the side table, let's see, what works for fall? Peace, joy. I mean, those are kind of Christmassy, but I'm gonna go with peace. Piece, and then I think I'm gonna switch this out for a pumpkin and that's all I'm gonna do over here. This isn't too dusty. I dusted it like a few days ago, so that's good. I think I got this, I don't really remember. Target, 
last year, maybe. So, and this my daughter made for me. Oh, I want to put these on the coffee table. Just some coasters for when we have coffee. Okay, and the last thing I want to do, it was an inspiration from Pottery Barn. Pottery Barn has a chair very similar to this one. I'll actually insert a picture. It'll pop up somewhere on the screen, you can see. So I was like, oh my goodness, that looks just like my chair. Only mine was $5, theirs is like $500. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this little tiny pillow off and use a big pillow that looks very similar to the one that they had. They had a pillow cover, but I think their pillow cover was 69. I got these two for 13 from Amazon. I could put the link in my description box if you're interested, but I'm gonna go ahead. This is a down pillow from Ikea. I love these things. I buy these inserts for all my, my pillows in the house. I just think they're great. So I'll put the cover on and then you'll see how similar mine looks to the Pottery Barn inspiration. Okay, so here's my pillow now. To be fair, I like the Pottery Barn one better, but do I like it $56 better? No, because <laughs> you know what? In like two months, I'm gonna switch this out for something having to do with Christmas, I'm sure. And I think this looks great. I just have my little stool under there. Okay, I think that's all I'm gonna do for now. I'll show you the room. All right, and with just a few touches, we've gone from, I guess, regular decor to fall. I'm holding out hope that I'll be able to get a plaid pillow cover for that. I might try ordering some again, see if they actually get here. Otherwise, it's fine. Uh, I really would like it, a little touch of plaid there, though. I think that'd be cute. So there you go. I left that. I like that there. And I'm going to do something in the corner there. Just haven't decided what. I think it's going to go Halloween, although I'm not certain. And I am going to decorate the shelves. Just not today. Not quite ready to do that yet. I have to find a few other pieces that I know I want to use there. So I'll do another video with maybe the shelves and the mantle, all that good stuff. So, but just a few touches to welcome in the fall season. I am happy. Oh, I don't know if I showed you this. This is the pumpkin I was talking about from the Dollar Tree. It's actually $3. Oh, I should take the tag off of it. I was just seeing if I liked it here and I do. So that was three bucks from the Dollar Tree Plus. And I love my new table. Very pleased with it. Really happy with the round. Anyway, that's all that I have for you today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.